Yes, you're still tuned into the Good Morning Africa Breakfast Show with Kaki Sorako Salim, Mr. King. We are yeah, here, yeah, 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 yeah. live from One Africa Radio TV Studios in Johannesburg, South Africa. This is the Good Morning Africa Breakfast Show, and we did promise that we do have a guest today. Being yes. oh, Mrs. Josie. Yeah. How are you, Mrs. Josie? Please come closer oh, to the mic. Oh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yes. Thank you for having me. No problem whatsoever. We welcome you to the One Africa Radio Studios here in Johannesburg, South Africa. Thank and you. of course, you are from the Christian Women Entrepreneurs Network in Africa. Yes. So please, do introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Josiane Gagum. I'm uh, one of the co-founders together with uh, Dorothy Sikwe of uh, Suena, the Stand for Christian Women Entrepreneur Network for Africa. I'm a, an entrepreneur, that's why okay. <laughs> I really promote uh, the culture of entrepreneurship. Yeah. <laughs> And more so, uh, more in depth regarding that entrepreneur, uh, meaning that your business caters for? Yes, it's an organization, it's an NGO that have been established to inspire, train, uh, support women to start and run sustainable business and organization. You know, sometimes it's easy to start, but to really uh, help it uh, uh, the stay, uh, sustain the, the, the taste of time yeah. is not always mm. easy. And above all, we also create a platform for women to network and to support, assist uh, each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right then. So be an NPO. Yes. So um, profit organization. Any so have you experienced? Experience? No, definitely. You know, to start an organization, we have been there for ten years. You can, you can mm. just being uh, there for ten years. It means a lot. It means that we have been through the test of time. Yes. We have been through our difficulty just to. Even get the lady to trust the organization, to come forth and say, no, we believe in your vision, let us uh, join in. And also the element of funding, you know, to start an, an organization is mm -hmm. not easy from stretch. You need, uh, you need funding when it comes to really uh, put the vision out there. As we are saying, we're supporting women in their business entrepreneurship and the rule. It means that we need to put in, in, in place means that will also assist them because most women are failing in business in Africa and South Africa in particular because they don't have that financial assistance yeah. and also just having uh, the, the, the institution that say okay we, we trust in your vision let us put hand together because there is a need for African women to really go out there and, 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 and produce and produce for the community and also contribute to the advancement of uh, the African economy. Mm -hmm. So they need support. They need everyone has to come on board. It's mm -hmm. not the one man show uh, 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 vision. Mm -hmm. it, and everyone has to come on board. It's infinity based, basically. Yes. And you're talking so much about the vision. Yes. What is the vision and the mission? No, our vision is to see women out there, women contributing to the economic um, advancement, as already point. We want to see women being a, a stakeholder. We want to see women that are able to come out with solution, with a company, with organization that will answer African problems and, and therefore also create in a, 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 a employment. We yeah. know that the rate of employment is huge yeah. in Africa, especially in South Africa above 30 percent this big volume yeah. so and, and we also are aware that women is a great uh, 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 when we look at the 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 the, 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 the population is is a great uh, speak volume when it comes to uh, the the rate the numbers mm -hmm. so if they are not part of the solution we're not going to make it and we are saying women come on board society uh, community support women they do have something to 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 bring out on the table mm -hmm. and that's why we are there we are saying even if you don't even think that you are an entrepreneur but you do have something in you you do have a talent you do have a potential African are facing lot of challenges so, yeah. but there are women that are seated there with the potential that God has given them and we are saying to them look inside of you what can you use that God already given you yeah. to, to 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 come out with a solution to come out with an answer to the to the the problem yes. that our community 
at tracing. Yeah, no, definitely, indeed, because I mean, each and every other individual is uh, set here yeah, um, inexistent because of a certain goal. Yes. And we are talented in our own way. Definitely. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Okay, uh, Miss Josie, one thing that I would love to know mm. is seeing, seeing that you are working with women most of the time, you're empowering yes. women to become entrepreneurs. Uh, what what advice would you have for other organizations such as yours, organizations that are focused on women empowerment? Uh, what what advice would you have for them in terms of dealing with women? I'm not going to say women's way of thinking is different from that of men, mm -hmm. but the fact that we've had less women in these spaces means there's something that was limited limiting them. So what would you tell other organizations such as yours how to deal with women and how to inspire or motivate women to do better in business as opposed to the men that they are meeting in boardrooms every day? No, I I'm, 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 I'm first will have to applaud them for just even uh, putting their, their, their thoughts, their, 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 their eyes upon that particular niche because it's a very critical one. And most of the time in Africa, they have been downloaded. They have been uh, uh, maybe they are, they are not being taken into consideration. Yes. So if you are dealing with women, really, you are doing well. You are doing well. Don't, 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 uh, don't be discouraged. I know there could be a lot of discouragement out there, especially in a male patriarchal. Uh, a community or, or, or continent uh, where they, they, there's not that culture where women are really um, encouraged to be put on the forefront. We see women that are standing up and because of all the dynamic that surround them, they give up. So we need to really be encouraged. You, if you are in an organization dealing with such women, and also don't don't just be discouraged because of the, the the way women are coming forward. They're not going to come stronger because they are coming from a background, a, 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 a underprivileged background for some of us. And sometimes, even when they want to lift their head, the environment in and which they are we also need going. to work as a community, as a group. We need to partner. With, oh, with, they need to partner with other organizations because what this organization might be lacking, the other organization might have it. Uh, or, or, or where you are failing, another organization already walked the path. So we, we, we need to, and we don't have to look at women as a, as a separate entity in the community. We are all human beings, women as men, they are all human beings. They are being created by God, equal, and the same gift that some men have, women have. But if we don't tap, if we don't capitalize into the gift, the potential that women have, we are missing it in Africa. Mm. So we are saying we have to really, uh, um, enhance, enhance communication pertaining to women entrepreneurship in Africa. We, it has even to start from the primary school where yes, we have to say, yes. no, let us start talking, speaking to the young girl, not waiting for those who already are going to, to tell them that, no, you can't, you, 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 you have to start business, you, you, you can fail and you have to, let us start speaking to our younger, younger, uh, youngest one. Yes, yes. yes. So but those are the ones we need to train. Yeah, it, it has to start from there and yes. tell them that you can can become that woman you can be you have the same potential as yes. the men if yes. God has created us equal yes. it means that we have the same value All That's right. true, indeed. okay so from from a, a coach's perspective right mm. there's a young girl a young woman somewhere it could be in Johannesburg could be in KZN could be in Congo it could be in Ghana because yeah. we we are a wide network yeah. so there's this young woman, she just stepped up to the corner for the first time today. She's selling cakes, she's selling popcorn, she's selling sweets. Maybe she just lost a job or something, and then she's like, let me try this entrepreneurship, right? That young lady, from a coach's perspective, what would you advise her? What would you let her know about the whole entrepreneurship game? What, what, what is she going to face? What should she, should she be prepared for? And yeah, just in short. For me, I would just say she should be prepared to fail 
But failure is not a failure per se, because through the failing process you learn a lot. You True. accumulate experience, you build up, and so on. She shouldn't be discouraged. She should just focus on her vision, on, on what she has. And I will also ask the people who are around the young lady that support her, yes. encourage her in her vision, mm -hmm. uh, here and there. So it is a, it's a, great, it's a great way to go create those companies that will hire other people. Yes. 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 So yes, so we, we, we have to start uh, uh, raising that type of conversation in our community. Otherwise, we're missing potential. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, someone said that uh, the, the symmetry uh, is much more that is the saddest place on this earth because there is so much potential. Oh, we, this is yeah. the time yeah. we yeah. 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 this week. This week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because as Africa is suffering for, uh, I don't know, uh, I would mm. test HIV or any other disease, corona, or uh, cure that disease, but because we are just waiting for other people to mm. bring the solution on the We don't table. want to be leaders, we, we want to be followers. To lead. We don't yeah. want to start tapping into the potential that we have. So if instead, I'm not saying education is key, but as we are going through the process in the mainstream education, let us just look within ourselves, within in the community, put our ear on the ground. What is it that people are suffering on? on, on? What solution can I bring on the table? Can I develop a product? Can I develop a service or a solution mm. that will answer this problem? That's the type of mindset that we have to uh, spray around ourselves because as Africa, we keep on importing solutions from other countries, whereas we do have so much in Africa. The fact that God has even endowed us with so much resources, it means that he has put people in Africa that are able to utilize those resources, mm -hmm. uh, resources to bring out uh, a, a, a solution on the okay. table. Okay. Oh, we're still tuning in with our oh, Eva. You still tuned into the Good Morning Africa Breakfast Show, and we are still with oh, Mrs. Josie from Christian a Woman Entrepreneurs and Network in Africa. So exciting news! There is an annual business conference and awards that is taking place on the eleventh. Oh, even starts uh, taking place from the tenth until the eleventh of November. Exactly. Please do tell us more about that. Yeah, you know, every year since the establishment of uh, of of Sway really empower women sometimes a one-day conference two-day conference where women are gathered together to really uh, share knowledge to get the information to network mm -hmm. and in order to to see their business even uh, move to the next uh, to the to the next level okay. and even those who are not yet st started their business is a great platform for them to come and get inspired okay. by those who already walk the road and uh, most importantly, we do uh, have an award, an annual award, where we recognize women, outstanding women that mm -hmm. are doing amazing work in the continent. Okay. It's, an, it's, a, it's an African award where a women for all uh, 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 corner of Africa have been, uh, have been recognized for their work right. when it comes to entrepreneurship. So regarding day one, the 10th of November, um, what is the day looking like? Uh, basically, we do have a keynote speaker, powerful women. You don't want you have to listen to them. These are women that are still the taste of time mm -hmm. of, 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 of uh, that went through challenges, uh, difficulty that started for that started from nothing, mm -hmm. and today they are they, they are role model. They are role model out there. So we are the, we bringing them on the table uh, to inspire other people. To, to just, um, uh, yes, to, to share their journey with them. And we also have workshops, uh, key workshop. Uh, this year we tackle uh, for industrial revolution. Okay. And we say to women, uh, you cannot do without it. We're having a specialist in the room that will come and, t and train the women how to utilize on the platform, the social media platform and so on. 
And mm -hmm. besides that, we also have um, meet, mingle, and, and meet also and yeah, it's meet and greet and mm -hmm. exchange business card. We also having a platform for exhibition where women will come and exhibit their product and have them known out there. And the great thing about our 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 conference is that it's hybrid. It's not only on site. Door is going to take place in in uh, in Randburg Blegory Recreation Center, but okay. those who are people can also join online. So if you are in other African country and you can't make it in Johannesburg, you're not going to be left behind. You just have to tune in on our uh, the this Zoom. It's gonna be a, a live yes, stream. Yes, live okay. stream. All right. Then so is there any entrance fee or even a do they have to book a table? Yes, they have to book a table for the for the two day conference. It's only five hundred. We're making it affordable for women. It's quite affordable. Uh, yes, but yes. Yeah. And if you are to exhibit your product, is eight hundred. Okay. Uh, that's how the 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 day one look like. So you don't want to miss it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it sounds enticing. I have to admit. So any last words? Any last words because unfortunately we have to wrap it up. And then, Motivation uh, for, for women out there to come out in numbers yes. to support this initiative. Yes, definitely with our our gala dinner and award, you have to come and encourage women that have uh, really uh, that stand up out there, that step out of the crowd, that are doing amazing work. We need to encourage them. Uh, we need to we need to really recognize the effort that they are making in the advancement of the African economy. Mm -hmm. And I pray that all this, the, the leader, the leader should really come forward and say, no, you're doing well. And that's why we had set up that award. So if you are connected to this uh, interview, uh, connect to us and get your ticket. It's an event not to be missed. Mm -hmm. we, we come, come on, come along. But we need to be there. You need to be at that particular event. Mm -hmm. You come there, you will really get something out of it. It's a, it's a, it will going to, it's promised to be inspiring. It's mm -hmm. promised to be rewarding. And, and, um, and also those who want to be a partner to this event is not late. You can still tune in. You can connect to us. Yeah. And, Please and give the partner. contact details. Yes, the, the contact detail is 07235. Mm -hmm. 36880. You can also connect to on our social media. Facebook is Christian Women Entrepreneur in Africa, or you can just Google Suena Christian Women Entrepreneur Network for Africa, and you definitely hear about the event, the upcoming events. Oh, thank you so much, yes, Mrs. Sure. Josie. <laughs> From Christian Women Entrepreneur Network in Africa, the event is taking place on the 10th and 11th of November 2023. They're in contact. Um, give me the, the, the thing again. Apologies for that. Yeah. Because I'm looking the number. The number again. The, the, the direct number is 07235. Yes. Three six double eight zero. All right then. Thank, Thank you. you. And Thank I'm you. hoping and trusting in that. I'm manifesting that this increase and then we definitely see different franchises regarding this. No, definitely. All yes. right. Yes. Wishing you everything the best of oh, the best. Okay. And may everything that your hands touch turn into gold. Amen. More than anything Amen. else, since you are an entrepreneur yourself, may every business venture you decide to embark on become prof uh, profitable. Thank Amen. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you for that prophecy. <laughs> You're welcome.